I was thinking about a video idea, and then I thought the idea that I'm going to start it with, like, this is, this is your day. You know, I was like, this is life. It's 24 hours in a day, and that's where your life exists, right? And then, and then I'm like, well, not really. This is the portion where you sleep, right? So you're not really living there, This, but you have to do it. You can fudge around with it, you know, try to cut it back. But at the end of the day, everybody has to sleep or else you're going to die, right? Like your body's not going to function. And then, like another big chunk, this is work. This is your career. This is where you spend all the time. And then going down the line, and then until eventually we're like, this is your time, right? And it, well, not really entirely your time because oh, there has to be a bunch of chores. Like, you have to pay bills. You have to, you know, maintenance your car, do all the stuff. And so then I wanted to make the connection that, like, the, the higher your bills are, the more time you have to spend working, which means that you have the least amount of time of the real important part. First of all, the once you, like, put it all in a timeline – it's it's off because you spend a lot of time sleeping, you spend a lot of time working, and then you spend a lot of time in maintenance stuff in life. And then the actual part where you're like actually living, for you, like doing the things that you like and stuff, it's like tiny, like a few hours a day, right? If you're yeah. if you're lucky, sometimes sometimes people don't even have that. So the more the higher your bills are, then the less time you have to live. And I'm like, and so then I wanted to tie the whole thing. It's like, here's one bill this month is really high as an electricity bill. I'm going to show you how to lower this bill so you have more time to live. You know? But yeah. I'm like, it's weird because I'm like, I'm going to try and make a video about a battery selling you the idea. About it. But I'm talking about life. Like, I'm talking about how do you get more time to spend time doing the stuff that you love and like doing, right? And so I'm like, that means it's in my head. Like, that's the thing that is that I'm constantly thinking about it because it's now – you know, bleeding over into like these ideas about videos about selling product, you know, kind of thing. Yeah. I mean, and that's the thing, right? Like I, and I always think about that because it's like, okay, if it, whatever I buy, what am I going to do to have to maintain that? Whether it's a house, like the number of bathrooms means my wife or I, me is going to have to clean those bathrooms. Right. If I yeah. buy a car, there's going to be maintenance. I have a Tesla because there's almost no maintenance. Yeah. I have a e-bike with a, with a mid drive motor because it requires far less maintenance. Right. I'm not going to buy something if it's going to take up a lot of my time. I'm not going to. And even that was probably one of the smartest things I, I started to think about in my 20s was I realized that my income was increasing. But I also realized that I, my lifestyle didn't have to increase with my income. Yeah. So I could find the I could find the place where I was the happiest with like a house of a size that's not crazy, enough cars, um, enough stuff. And I didn't have to increase that because that was just giving me more to do. Like you said, it was just giving me more and more to do. And I had less time to enjoy my life. So I, there's obviously a point, And this is kind of the point of the book as well. It's like, what is enough? Right? So there was a study done about happiness. I think it, Pew did a study. I think it was like 1.2 million people. And they're like, how much money do you need to make to be happy? And you would think that the more money you make, the happier you are. Right? But in the study, it turned into a bell curve. So people were obviously happier if they went from zero money to a certain amount of money. But then it started to drop off. As people started to make more and more money, their happiness started to decrease after a certain... And it wasn't a huge amount. It wasn't like millions of dollars. I think it was like 100 grand or something. Like It was, it was something that is a, is a decent amount of money, but is it attainable by more than just like the Elon Musk's or Jeff Bezos's of the world. Right. Yeah. And they had decreased happiness because they were worried about social pressures and keeping up with the Joneses and the neighborhoods that they lived in, where if somebody got a new TV, somebody else had to get a bigger TV. And so I think that this thinking that um, we can just spend our way into happiness, it, it doesn't really work because it just gives us more to deal with, more to take care of, more maintenance on, on everything in our lives. And it, it takes away from the just being able to relax and have fun. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, the other thing is I think a lot of people have is like making their mark in the world, right? Like I know that w when I was younger, I used to be like, yeah, I used to make me feel good. I have employees. People look up to me. I, that very quickly dropped off. Like as soon as I like um, came into my, my 40s or whatever, I'm like, I don't care. Like I don't want to flash money or possessions like it's just kind of went all out the door like yeah i don't i don't care like who, who cares like what it is you know what i mean like i used to care like oh my house has to look a certain way 
my car has to be like like status symbols you know what i mean like that they're not as important anymore and i think i don't know i think that's the thing that comes with age um i don't know if this necessary do you think it's necessarily a good thing for young people to come into those ways of thinking early on or you think it is useful to go through the journey you know when you're in yeah. your 20s you should hustle like everybody and because you have the energy and the stamina and that's what makes you the 40 year old that you're going to turn into you know exactly now i'm tired it's like nine o'clock at night and i'm just <laughs> like this is i'm done for the day <laughs> yes. um, i think it's i think it's it's useful to make mistakes in life uh because then uh, mistakes that you learn from right Yeah. But I, I, yeah, I mean, I, I think there also comes a point where you need to think like, am I doing this for myself or am I doing this for other people? Like, am I, am I buying this car so it looks good in my driveway or so that, so that such and such a person sees it? Or am I running my business? Like, it sounds better if somebody asked me like, well, how big is your business? And I said, oh, I have a thousand employees across 18 offices in three countries. That sounds good. Other than like, I run a business with my, with my good buddy and we both work from home. Right. Like yeah. it just sounds better. But it, at the end of the day, it's like, well, do I want to run a business where I'm happy or do I want to run a business where I just look good to other people? And I think yeah. when we're younger, it, we can definitely get caught up in that and get caught up in that hustle of, well, this just looks good. Like I feel good because people respect me because of this. And for me, yeah, as well, like I'd rather just be like, I don't want to be known. Like I've uh, doing publicity for the book. Uh, my publicist in, in one country was like, oh, do you want to go on this TV show? I was like, no, <laughs> like, <laughs> yes. no, that sounds like the worst thing in the world to be so fam to be famous in any way. Like I like where I'm at now, like only pe the only people who know about my book, the only people who know about me are people who could benefit from that information. But it's not like I'm not going to walk down the street and get recognized. That's not like that's it's not that level of fame, which I like. I wouldn't want to be out and be recognized. That seems like that seems and I, a lot of young people want that. And it's just yeah. like that seems awful. That seems like people yeah. would be judging me all the time. Like, oh, look at how he's holding his fork at a restaurant. Like, I don't want that. Yeah, I, I, I suffer from that. I mean, I'm a YouTuber. Right. And I have to I've quite a, spent quite a bit of time analyzing like why do i want to put my thoughts and my ideas and it was getting to the point where people were recognizing me in the street and it was cool right because you're like hey you know this, this is a fan or whatever it's weird you know they know everything about me i don't know anything about that am, but it's <laughs> like but i think i'm very quickly falling off of that too i i just heard a thing the other day it was like people you should say like i want to be rich and famous And then someone's like, you should try being rich first. And then, then you should try the fame later because <laughs> yeah. you might not need the fame. <laughs> and yeah. I'm like, you're right. Yes. I mean, there are certain characters that does desire the admiration of others. I mean, we kind of all do, but to a certain extent, right? Like it has to be the right kind. You know, you get more picky as you get older. But uh, I think at one point it becomes a huge liability. You know, it's a double-edged sword kind of thing, right? Yeah. And it's, um, yeah. And that's another thing that it's like, it, 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 it's hard to know that you want that or that you don't want that until you've had that a little yeah. bit. Yeah. And yeah, it's just, uh, I don't think it, it doesn't, I don't think it makes you happy as a blanket statement. I think it can make some people happy to do those things and it can make some people horribly depressed or, or really unhappy with the, with the fact that they, they don't have a ton of privacy or, or that sort of thing. So I think it's good to kind of consider all of the ramifications of decisions that you're making, because if things go well and you haven't considered it, you could do everything right and end up in a place you don't want to be. Yeah. Whereas if you consider it first, then you're less likely. I mean, it could still happen, but you're less likely to end up in a place you don't want to be, even if all the things went right and all the things went your way.